YouTube world. Good morning. How y'all doing out there? I'm just sitting here in the parking lot waiting on um, my ticket number to be called at the DMV, if y'all know how that shit goes, on your phone. I didn't even look and see what the, the upcoming numbers was. I just grabbed my shit when I saw her. She talking about an hour and a half. So I said, yeah, that's what it was last time I was up here. But, yeah, I got to register to, uh, I mean, get my plates for the Jeep. Motherfuckers expired on the 13th. <coughs> And Monday and Tuesday, all DMVs was closed. So I had to wait till today, which makes it Wednesday. Wednesday, October the 20th. Yeah, so um, what I wanted to speak on was... uh. On this next up and coming video, I'm going to be uh, teaching my mother how to invest in stocks. Now, my mama, she don't know nothing about stocks. You know, she just knows she don't know nothing about stocks. She don't know how to invest with platforms to go on, none of that. So, I'm going to go the easy route with her where she can understand it. And all that. So I'm going to get her. When she gets her new phone. I'm going to get her a cash app. Account. And then that way she ain't got to be. She always be mailing money to her grandkids. And all that. And she can just send it to them. You know. She ain't got to be writing. No, she be writing checks. You know my mama old school. She's 72. But uh. What's that say? Let's see how this works. Based on your company history and business type, you're qualified for a Thank you. That's what I do. And after that, see, this is what y'all don't do, and that's why y'all just keep getting tons of scam uh, calls. What you got to do is... uh. Go to the call. You got to block the number. You know what I'm saying? Block. Bam. I know there's hundreds that come behind it, but it be the same ones that call y'all, and y'all don't even uh, know it. So, block that one. Look at all these scam calls on my shit, man. That's crazy. But anyhow... Back to what I was saying about my mom before I was really interrupted by the scammers. I'm going to teach her how to invest in some stocks. I got some good stocks for her to invest in. You know. Uh, in my cash app. I got roughly 13 stocks. Investing in 13 stocks. Some of my own. Some of them I'm partially invested in. So my stocks. I'm going to tell y'all what my stocks is. My stocks is Tesla, uh, NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, Microsoft, Apple, Berkshire Hathaway, got some S&P 500, growth index, Stryker, Nike, Alphabet, which is with, with the Google sign, Google, if y'all didn't know. Amazon, Coca-Cola, Facebook, and Chewy. Now Chewy, it's down at the bottom. It been it been uh not doing so good for a while. I'm down six dollars and ninety six cents on my twenty five dollar investment. Only reason why I invested in it because it was just jumping, jumping uh earlier this year. 
and then it just been shooting down. So I don't know whether to buy into this company anymore or just let it see what it does. But everything else, uh, yeah, I got some, you know, I only got like 12, 1260 invested. But my 1260 sitting at uh my gains is 156.08 as of right now as we speak. And um I started investing November 18th, 2020. So almost a year. And uh I'm up eleven point nine three percent on my earnings now y'all tell me if that's some good percentage to be up on i mean what if your money sitting in the bank for a whole year and you had 1200 in there even though over time i invested you know i started with probably 100 200 bucks and then over time i added i added uh added stocks more and more and then started investing more and more in them stocks so you know that's how it goes but in your bank account how much money would your bank account been done earned you or gains you would have got on your money what's your returns 0 0.0.0.1 <clears throat> something like that I don't know you tell me but this is just one of my accounts. I got Weibo account. I got Stash account. And I got my uh got my Coinbase. Shout out to Bitcoin. Hitting 66. Let's see what we might have done. Hit 67. Shit, let's see. Hitting oh, we almost at 67,000, man. That shit at 6694. I mean uh 840. 66,800 and forty dollars that's good you know what i'm mad about though y'all and if y'all ain't mad at yourself y'all y'all all know it's wrong but when bitcoin was just sitting down there at 30 what was it 30 no, let me see when bitcoin was sitting at 30 but fucking that shit went down to twenty nine thousand dollars y'all july 19th if y'all didn't even add five dollars to y'all shit man i don't know what's wrong with y'all because i didn't and i'm mad i should have invested a thousand dollars and then when it was just lingering around 40 it was like it's telling you it went up it went up 10. man that shit went from 43 to goddamn 66,000. So, I mean, what I got invested in here it ain't really much, you know what I'm saying? It's only like 135. I got 135 invested in Bitcoin. My $135 is sitting at 229 right now. 229.28. That's almost double my money. So, what I'm going to do, they talking about Bitcoin going to hit 90 grand soon or something. I don't know. I'm really waiting on another dip. Because in this year. We had two dips. Well no last year. Last year of uh, November. And December. Bitcoin went all the way down to $17,000. Then it started going back up, bam, bam, got up to 50, bam, bam, got up to $60,000, 62. And then it just started tanking, you know what I'm saying, in May. May, going down, going down, June, going down, June, July, going down, going down. And then it started coming back up at the end of July. Then August, you know, it gets back up to 46, you know what I'm saying, from the 30s. And so... It might have another chance to dip. We're going to see. Whatever dip that goes. If it goes back to 
40, hopefully. If not 50, I'm investing. Yeah. But, yeah, so that's what this video is basically about. Just introducing what I'm about to do with my mama because she got to get her a new phone. Because the phone she got is old and probably don't have no memory type space. You know, she ain't really get it for nothing. So, she's getting a new phone. Going to get her a cash app. Connect her account. She says she wants to invest like $1,000. So, I'm going to pick. 10 of the best stocks for long term investing so what I need y'all to do if y'all can cause that's what we here for you know each one teach one you know what I'm saying you help me I help you that's how we do it give me y'all's best 10 stocks that you would have your mother invest in if you was doing the same thing I'm doing and then you know I'll see what they are you know what I'm saying now I'm not gonna give her all my I mean the ones I'm doing. There's some there's some on here. I mean there's some that she's gonna invest in that I haven't even got yet, but I'm going to get them. Yeah. Today at that. So if y'all remember what I named off, you know, y'all just remember what I'm add on. <laughs> Cause this impo this portfolio 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 is going to grow. And all is my other ones as well. But yeah, so y'all stay tuned to uh, the next video when I actually go to my mom, show her how to download the app, you know, uh, set up her account, get some stocks going, and that'll be part two of this video. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a couple parts because I want y'all to see her reactions on how her money is growing right before her eyes versus what it does when it sits in the bank or in our pockets or in our stash spot or whatever the fuck so y'all stay tuned you dig and um uh, by the way please like this video subscribe if you haven't share this video if you really with me, you know what I'm saying? And um oh yeah. Some people be like, what stocks is he talking about? Well, you know. Yeah, so my camera decided to cut off on me in the middle of my thing, but I guess that means I need a new SIM card. But uh yeah, y'all just like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate y'all uh, hearing me out. Hopefully y'all get something out of that. Maybe you can do something for your mother, you know, or pops at that, you know what I'm saying? Just help somebody that don't know the difference of how to invest in the stock market, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tap in with y'all later. Y'all keep it easy. I'm gone, baby. <laughs>